So, Shu on Head has a new YouTube channel called Shu Off Head, and she and the Armored Skeptic have this video where they're trashing Steve Shives, and I always like that. Um, but then at about 20 minutes in, they start trashing MRAs. Uh, I'm going to go over the points that they make in this video, but before that, there's a few points that I'd like to make. Uh, first, uh, I was hesitant to join the men's rights movement because I don't like the idea of championing any demographic, you know, blacks, women, gays, men, whatever. Uh, but I wanted to take meaningful action against feminism, and at the time, uh, back in 2012, the men's rights movement was the only anti-feminist activist uh, faction that had their shit together. So uh, I joined up for the benefits that come along with being part of a, a faction or whatever you want to call it. That said, uh, now that I am an MRA, uh, I take it personally when inaccurate slights are thrown out against, um, you know, the men's rights movement. Uh, secondly, uh, I like Shu on Head's videos, and uh, the only video aside from this one that I've seen the Armored Skeptic in was the one where Shu describes Star Wars, and I like that one too. Uh, third, in this video they keep on calling the MRM the MRA. Uh, it might seem pedantic, uh, but when someone refers to the MRA, it's like hearing a televangelist talking about the Pokemans or the rap. You know, it's... Uh, it sends a signal to people who know uh, what the MRM is about that you clearly don't. Uh, MRA is an, acronym, is an acronym for either Men's Rights Activist or Men's Rights Advocate. A person who does either activism or advocacy for the rights of men is an MRA. Uh, so uh, I will say that I liked most of this video, uh, but I am going to go over the parts that I have a problem with. Again, I'm not an MRA. I mean, people keep saying I am. I don't know why people keep saying I don't, I, know. I don't know. I make fun of the MRA just as much as I make fun I of know. feminism. They're the same thing as, as far as I'm concerned. Um, one says they're for equal rights for women. One says they're for equal rights for men. And then when you press them on it, they both say they're for equal rights for everyone. <laughs> well, usually when people say that they want equal rights for some particular demographic, the implication is that they want said demographic to have rights equal to another one, in this case, the other sex. Uh, the thing is that women in Canada and the US actually have more legal rights than men already. So when feminists say that they want equal rights, like rights equal to, the, to those of men, uh, we don't believe them because they're clearly pushing for women to have more rights even though they already have more. Uh, when MRAs, on the other hand, uh, say that they want men to have equal rights, uh, there are actual rights that women have and men don't, and those are the rights that MRAs do activism and advocacy for so that everyone can have equal rights. If you had familiarized yourself with the relevant subject matter, you would know that. Fine, whatever, you're the same thing then, you're just arguing about what you should call yourselves. No, we're not the same thing. An MRA is defined by their activism or advocacy, while being a feminist, as many feminists will tell you, is a matter of belief. There is no overriding ideology that unites MRAs. Again, if you do activism or advocacy for the rights of men, it doesn't matter what you believe, you're an MRA. Um, anyways, just like you were saying though, it's like, it's the horseshoe theory. Um, but the, not only are, you know, the, at the top, is like, say, us, the people who refuse to identify as either. You get on the bottom of the horseshoe on one side, feminism. The bottom of the horseshoe on the other side is the MRA. They're like right next to each other. They make all the same arguments. They do all the same things. And if they, they assume that because you are not them, you are the other. And that is exactly what we deal with on a regular basis. Yeah. You deal with that on a regular basis, do you? On a regular basis, MRAs are accusing you two of being feminists. Bullshit. June's videos get featured on AVFM and she was a guest on Honey Badger Radio. The Honey Badgers are MRAs. Karen Strawn is an MRA. Dr. Randomer Cam is an MRA. Did either of them accuse her of being a feminist because she's not an MRA? Or did no MRA ever accuse her of being a feminist? Because that, to me, is the most likely scenario.
Yeah, not cool, bro. Also, if you're going to say that we do all the same things, I would ask that you back that up with evidence that MRAs have barricaded feminist lectures, pulled fire alarms to disrupt lectures, or even disabled comments or ratings on their videos. Being a skeptic, I'm sure you can appreciate the need for evidence. Ultimately, this accusation that MRAs are exactly like feminists, or that there are MRAs who are exactly like feminists, is an expression of the middle ground fallacy, which Honey Badger Hannah Wallen has done an excellent job of debunking in a recent video, which I'll be linking to in the low bar, and I really encourage both of you to watch it. Uh, the only thing I would say to the armored skeptic is that it's important to learn about a subject before publicly discoursing on it, which he clearly didn't do. And to June, uh, I would say that, you know, uh, MRAs and she have been pretty cool to each other insofar as um, June coming on an MRA uh, internet radio show, you know, the Honey Badger Brigade. Um, and now that she's sitting there giving her assent to some really insulting claims about us is pretty fucking obnoxious. Uh, MRAs know that June isn't an MRA, but I've never met an MRA who disliked her, and I've damn never met an MRA who called her a feminist. I'm Nick Redding, with Men's Rights Edmonton, dot com.